Want to know how I turned a 15 minute client interaction into $10,000 in monthly recurring revenue that is completely automated and works even if you're away from your desk? Here's the thing. Most businesses lose clients in the first 30 days because they drop the ball on follow up. But I discovered something game changing. I built an AI automation that responds to clients within minutes of their payment, which makes them feel genuinely valued and supported throughout their entire journey. The result, my client retention rate has shot up by 85%. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I built this system, which includes the exact simple two email sequence that keeps clients happy, how to set up the payment triggered automation, the psychology behind why instant response times build trust, and how you can implement this in your business today. We're even going to build this together. If you're tired of losing clients because you can't keep up with follow-up emails, this automation system is about to change everything for your business. Let's dive in. So here's the really simple automation sequence that I promise is going to change your business. I'm gonna walk you through each one of these modules and then we're gonna go ahead and build this together. The only things you need for this is make.com. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can use it for free. You need an email address and some sort of payment processor. I personally use Stripe, but however you collect your payments, this will work for you. The biggest thing your clients want is to feel seen, to be recognized. So if it's taking you a day or two days or three days to respond to them, they're not going to feel taken care of. They're going to wonder like what it is that you're doing. They're not going to want to work with you again. And the reason this is so powerful, because if your clients feel seen and you get back to them and respond to them in a reasonable amount of time, they're going to want to continue to work with you month over month. And they're going to have trust in you. So they're going to want to pay you with a monthly retainer to make sure you have income coming in every single month. They know that they can count on you so they're willing to pay. This automation is for onboarding new clients. And as soon as this automation kicks off, a switch is going to flip in your client's brain once they receive these first two emails that's going to let them know that you're trustworthy and that they should continue to work with you. It's going to make you look more professional and like an expert in your field. The automation is incredibly easy to set up. First, it starts off in Stripe or your payment processor. And as soon as your client pays their first invoice, this automation kicks off. And what it does is it grabs details from that invoice and it puts them into the system. So it just grabs your client's full name and then we extract the first name. So say your client's name is Chris Smith. It's just going to extract the first name Chris so that when you're corresponding with them, you just say, hey, Chris, instead of like using their full name. And then we're just going to grab their email address. And that's literally all you need. After we've set those two variables, we're going to wait four minutes because you don't want to respond instantly so that you seem like a bot. But if you wait for four minutes before responding, they're going to think that you're really on top of things and you're reading their emails and that you're available to them. So this is just a simple sleep timer with a 240 second delay or four minutes. And after that, we send the first thank you email that grabs the client's email address and sends them a thank you and welcome aboard email using HTML format. And I'm going to share this email template with you so that you can use it in your own emails. After that, we're going to wait three more minutes before sending a second follow-up email. Again, this lets your client know that you are thinking of them and that you are prepared for the next steps, which again, makes you seem more professional. Clients often need a little bit of hand-holding, so this will let them know that you didn't just accept their money, but that you actually know where this thing is going. So basically, it takes that same information, the client email and their first name, and sends them the second follow-up email three minutes later. So let's go ahead and let's build this together. Now, in my case, I'm using Stripe as the payment processor, and basically what happens is... Whenever the client pays the invoice, it'll ping the webhook here in Stripe. And so you can just go ahead and kick that off by coming into here and searching for Stripe and go to show more. And basically what you want to do is you want to watch events. And so anytime something happens, it'll ping that webhook and it'll start off the automation. I'm going to show you what this looks like for me, but then I'm going to show you how you can set up the system just to test it out while you connect your own payment platform. But if you're in Stripe like me, you actually just want to come down to the bottom here into the event destinations and come over to webhooks. And then you can add a new destination this is mine here, but if you set this up, you just put in your account and your connected accounts and you select the events like payments received. And so in my case, I'll show you what mine looks like. Come into event destinations and you can just click on edit destination and you can see we just have the webhook URL from make.com, which is going to come from this module. You basically just copy and paste that in here and then select the invoice payment succeeded event. In our case, we just want to be able to test this for anyone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the variables that we're going to pull straight inside of make.com. And so what I want to do is I'm just going to search for set multiple variables. And I'm just going to go ahead and add an item. And I'm going to say client full name. And basically, I'm going to say client email. And this is literally all we need to kick off this automation. And remember, this is the exact information you're going to grab from whatever your payment processor is. So we'll just name our client again, Chris Smith, and we'll just say Chris Smith at gmail.com. We'll keep that really simple. 
So again, this is just replacing the Stripe module so we can do some testing ourselves. The next module that we have here is the set name and email module. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the information from our invoice and we're just going to pipe this in here so that we can use it for the rest of the automation flow. And this will dynamically update for every single client. I'm just going to rename that client profile. And you can see in our original automation, we have the second set multiples module. So I'm just going to go ahead and add another one of these. And I'm going to say tools, set multiple variables. So again, here we'll have the client full name. And now we just want to have the client first name and the client email. And I know that this seems redundant because we just did this, but remember that this is going to be coming from Stripe or your payment processor and not actually from the same module. So for client full name, we just want to grab the client full name here. And for the client email, we're just going to grab the client email. Now the client first name, you need to do a little bit of coding, but it's actually not that hard because all of the code is built straight into make.com. We have this get split code, which basically is telling you to get the full name of the customer and then split it. What we're doing here is we're saying to take the client's whole name and just split off the first part of that using a space to tell you where to split it. So if it's Chris space Smith, it's gonna split it at the space and it's only gonna take out the Chris. So all you're left with is the client's first name. So if you come down here, you just go into this gears, the general functions, and you'll type in, you'll click the get. And if you come back, you want to go into text and come down to split. So what we want to do here is we want to split the client's full name. And the one gotcha here is you don't want to type in space. You actually need to select the space in these text functions. And then after the semicolon, we just want to grab the first position, which is one. If you wanted to grab the client's last name, you would select two. And that would grab the second part of this after the split. So just to make sure that we set this up correctly, you can just right click the module and click run this module once. And if we type in the client's first name, Chris Smith and Chris Smith at gmail.com, we can just go ahead and click OK. And now you can see we've just split off Chris from the full name or you can just click run once to go through the whole flow and make sure that you see here we've grabbed the client's full name and their email. We've piped it into the second module. And again, we have the same output here and we'll just rename this first name plus email. And always remember to name everything. And we'll just call this the onboarding email sequence and go ahead and click save. The next thing we want to do is we just want to introduce a sleep module to wait for a minute. So again, we're not sending this email as soon as the invoice is received, but we're giving it a little bit of time to make it seem like a real person is actually sending this. So we'll just go ahead and add another module. And we just come in and type in sleep and just add how long you want this to wait for. This is in seconds. So I'll just type 240. And this is a wait four minutes timer. So wait four minutes. Now, if we go back to the original here, you can see there are two really simple routes. There's this initial thank you email and the onboarding and next steps email. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this module and I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in. And we just want to separate these by a router so that one happens first and then the other. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to type in router. I'm going to add that. And I'm just going to link this up here and we don't need this one here. So now we have the thank you email. And basically what we're doing here is we're connecting this to the rest of the flow. And you just want to go ahead and create a connection with your email account. I recommend using the email module, which is send an email here instead of the built in Gmail module. I just find that the email module actually works a lot better. So you would just click send an email to start this from scratch. Come in here, click add a connection and connect this to your email account. You don't need to save the message after sending. And for the client email address, you can either take this directly from the first module, which will be your payment processor. In our case, I'm just going to grab it from that second module where we've actually set the variable so that they're dynamically updated every time. And we can type in a subject. I just have thank you and welcome aboard. You can make this whatever you want. And we have the content type as HTML. This way it lets us put in our own line breaks and things like that. And so for client first name, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the client first name, which again, remember, we use that get split code to extract the first name uh, from their full name. And I just have an email here and here's what it says. It says, hi, Chris, in our case. And then I have these two BRs, which are basically just HTML's way of indicating a line break. So it's going to say, hi, Chris. And that's going to put a space to go to the next line and then one more space to create that gap in an email like you would normally send. Thanks for taking care of that invoice so promptly. I'm really looking forward to working together and I'm confident we can nail this for you. Again, two more line breaks. I'll send you some onboarding instructions and a calendar in a moment and we can then book a call to kick off the project. This part is really important because this lets your client know that you have more instructions for them and that you're ready to schedule a call to talk through any questions they might have. So already they're feeling really confident that they can trust you with their project. We'll add two more line breaks. And again, we keep this really simple. I just say talk soon. Thanks again. My name and click OK. And then once this is done, what you want to do is we're just going to add another sleep timer. 
and we're going to go ahead and this time we're just going to wait for 180 seconds and we're just going to sleep for three more minutes. Wait three minutes. And so again, they're not getting bombarded with emails, but they're getting these two in pretty quick succession so that they know you're thinking about them. Next, we're just going to send them this onboarding email with next steps three minutes later. And basically, this is set up the same way. What you can do is you can actually just right click and clone this module and attach it down here. I already have this, so I'm just going to use the one that exists, but let's walk through it again. We already have our connection set up. We have our client email address. We set the subject line to next steps. Again, you can change this to whatever you'd like. And again, we're just going to change this to our client's first name. It's going to say, hey, Chris, just following up on my last email. Our next step is booking an onboarding call. TLDR, automation services often involve a number of platforms, which can be logistically tricky to manage. Two-factor authentication, credential sharing, et cetera, et cetera. Two line breaks. I usually take care of all that on a quick onboarding call where we set up the groundwork live on a screen share in about 20 minutes. So again, this is letting them know that they can book a call with you and you're just going to hold their hand through the setup process, which can be a little overwhelming, especially for clients who are new to AI and automation. This also gives us a chance to go over timelines, talk about comms and expectations, solve pesky two-factor authentication problems, and, any, and answer any last-minute questions. And here I've just included a link to my Calendly meeting, which is a 45-minute onboarding call that I already have set up. So whatever scheduling service you use to schedule your meetings, you can just include that link right here, and they can go ahead and book a call directly through this email. Of course, it'll get added to your calendar, and you'll be ready to do this follow-up onboarding call with your client. And we said, do you mind booking a slot here? Ideally, we do this in the next 72 hours or so, but I'm cognizant of your schedule. Let me know whenever works best for you and if you need anything else in the meantime. So this lets them know that you this is urgent. You're ready to tackle this. You want to get started right away, but that you recognize that they may need a little time to get everything in order. And then we say, thank you and your name. Just click OK. And so now basically what happens is as soon as an invoice gets paid, this automation kicks off. And this will send this through and this will send these automation emails to your clients. And if you have this set up like me, basically all you need to do, since this is what's called an acid trigger, it's triggered as soon as data arrives. You just flip the switch to on and literally as soon as the invoice gets paid, it automatically pings this automation and it kicks it off without you even needing to be anywhere near your desk, anywhere near your phone or your computer. It'll do this automatically and it'll send these, email out, these emails out for you and you won't even have to think about it. If you thought this video was cool, make sure you check out this next video on LinkedIn automations where I show you how you can use AI to completely automate your LinkedIn posts to book your next big client. I'll see you over there.